everyone, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new, hello, my name is Erin. It's so nice to meet you. I am so excited about today's video. Five months ago, I did a Forever 21 haul and it was spring and summer. And this Forever 21 haul is going to focus on fall and winter. It is again, a very large haul, but that's just how I roll. I'm trying to get these haul videos out quickly for you guys because I want to do a lot of lookbooks focusing on leather leggings or skirts, workwear, just going out wear. I have so many ideas, but I want to show you the pieces I purchased before I start styling them. So here we are, another haul video and I'm ready for it. If you are looking for new ways to style clothes or incorporate trends, you can follow me on Instagram at Erin Heartbreak. But besides that, we are going to get right into this haul. The first item is a bodysuit. So if you have been following me for a little while, you know that I love bodysuits. I feel like a bodysuit is a great foundation piece for an outfit. You can wear them with jeans, skirts, shorts, and then you can throw on jackets, sweaters, scarves, accessories. You can really dress up a bodysuit. And I've been looking for a white one. So this first item is a ribbed Henley bodysuit. And you can see it has these nice button details on it, which I love because it's not just plain. It has a little bit of some sum if I just want to dress up a cardigan. And I purchased it in a size small and it was $13. So normally I never buy anything that's white from Forever 21 because their material can be a little cheap. Sorry Forever 21, but it's the truth, especially depending on what you're purchasing. So if you're buying a $13 bodysuit, I kind of expected it to be see-through and that just wasn't the case, which was awesome. The next item is this faux shirling jacket and I got it in black. So if you watched my fall winter trends video, you saw that teddy coats were going to be so big and they are. So this coat was $58 and I also got it in a size small. I like where it hits at your bum because it covers it if you're wearing leggings or if you have a blouse on, it's gonna look awesome as well. It's just the perfect length for my height and it is so comfortable. Next, I purchased a skirt. It is the Glen Plaid Belted Mini Skirt and it was $20 and I got it in a size small. I'm actually wearing it tonight for an event I have to go to, but I am obsessed with skirts. For fall, spring, summer, winter, wear skirts. You can throw leggings on if it gets too cold, throw on some thigh high boots and some socks. Skirts are such a nice way of still looking sexy but being appropriate. I really liked the belt detail on this skirt as well. Zara was selling one similar for like $50, so when I saw this, I had to snag it. I don't know what it is about me, but I cannot find a teddy, lace bodysuit, whatever you want to call it, to fit me. I purchased a black teddy from Fashion Nova and that haul was kind of a mess. I hated like everything. I think I kept two things from it, so I didn't even film it for you guys. So the one I purchased is the Crochet Lace Bodysuit and it was $18 in a size small. I think because I am so tiny and my chest is so large, it's just not gonna work out. Either the cup doesn't fit me or the material doesn't have enough give and it doesn't cover enough. It's, it just doesn't work out. So if you are five foot five, 118 pounds and have a 32 triple D chest, please leave me a store down below in the comment section that I can find a lace bodysuit or a teddy that will fit me appropriately because I am striking out and I'm sick of purchasing and returning. I wanted this sweater to work so bad. The color was perfect, the length was perfect, the sleeves were interesting. The material, ugh, the material. It's not cool to look cute and be uncomfortable. <laughs> be comfortable when you get dressed and I knew I was not gonna be comfortable wearing this sweater. It was the ribbed self-tie sweater in Marsala and I got it in a size small and it was $23. The sleeves were longer and they tied around. I really like that style. I think it just kind of gives you a little more oomph, especially to a sweater. It was the perfect length on me, on my torso, because I could tuck it in. If you follow me on Instagram, especially like last year, you know I wear these faux suede khaki leggings all the time that I got at Zara. So when I saw this black pair at Forever 21, I had to grab them and I'm so glad I did. They are the faux suede leggings. They're $18 and I got them in a size small. If you kind of push medium, get them in a medium because they are tight, but they're gonna be a great piece to wear with a big chunky sweater and some boots or even heels. I'm so excited. Maybe I'll wear them tonight. No. 
As I said, I am obsessed with skirts, and this one has been on my wish list for a little while, so when I did this haul, I just I had to snag it. It had to be mine, and it is the Faux Suede Color Block Mini Skirt. It's the color Black Rust. I got it in small, and it's $25, but it has panels of black rust, that Marcella color, and a really light pink. So it's something that I'll be able to wear with neutrals, I'll be able to wear it with some blush tones, I'll be able to wear it with black. It's really going to match with so many different pieces that I already have. Another skirt, this might be the last skirt, I don't know, but who cares, I'm obsessed with them, is this corduroy paper bag skirt in brick. I purchased it in a size small for $23. I like the paper bag trend because it's flattering for my waist. I have some shape to me in certain outfits, but most of them it just gets lost because I am so thin. So I like this trend because it really cinches at my waist and then lets my bottom pop be plump. I don't know. You get what I'm saying. It's really cute for my body type. So if you have a similar body type, definitely buy everything in this trend. Again, if you follow me on Instagram, you saw me upload a photo wearing this outfit and it was the Geo Knit mini dress. It was $20. It's black and white and I purchased it in a size small. I was honestly inspired by the model herself because normally I would have never purchased this dress, but she has on a black sweater kind of like this. Maybe it's even a bodysuit with the dress over it and it is adorable. I cannot tell you how many damn compliments I got with this outfit. It was really warm that day so I just threw some self tanner on my legs and wore heels and called it a day. It was so easy to get dressed in the morning and I felt cute. Like I walked around and I knew I looked cute. I was radiating cuteness and I didn't care. I wanted the world to be cute that day. I wanted the world to think I was cute that day. And it worked. But guys, I'm not kidding. I loved all of these outfits, these pieces. They're so awesome and the quality was great and they honestly were pretty inexpensive for how much I purchased. This next piece is the Cable Knit Sweater. It was $25. I purchased it in oatmeal in a size medium. I knew I wanted a more slouchy fit, especially in a big knit sweater. I think it's so cute when you have a pair of more tight jeans or even mom jeans and a pair of trainers. So I really like this sweater. I like the detail. It's not see-through when you put it on so you don't need to wear a bodysuit under it. This next item I should have returned. I had a vision in my head for how I was going to style it and then I styled it and I hated it and my husband made fun of me for it. So it is the Hooded Faux Sherling Pullover Jacket. It was $23 in top in a size medium. It's not a jacket, it's definitely a hoodie. I purchased it in a medium because it's a cropped hoodie and I wanted it to be a little bit lower when I wear leggings. It's not cute, so it's definitely gonna be like an I'm lounging around the house, comfy, cute sweatshirt. Not an out in public sweatshirt. Which makes you sound dumb, but girls, you understand what I'm talking about. I wore this top on my birthday and I'm such a hypocrite because in my <laughs> in my wardrobe transition video I told you to get rid of off the shoulder tops and I almost honestly didn't even purchase it because I knew I was being such a hypocrite. So throw all that information out the window. Wear your off the shoulder tops because I loved this bodysuit. It is the satin off the shoulder cutout bodysuit. It was $25 in black and a size small. <sighs> I loved it. I felt classy, but like, it's my birthday. What's up? I don't think I even filmed me wearing this next piece because after trying on all of these clothes, I was truly ex exhausted. I was so tired. This next piece is the plaid print shawl and it's $23 in pink multi and it just comes in one size. I love wearing sweater dresses in the fall and winter and I think this is a great option to just throw over your shoulders instead of wearing a heavy jacket, especially if you'll be inside all day and not trekking through the cold when it's snowing. But it is so cute and feminine and I just love neutrals. I think they make you look rich. This next top is out of my comfort zone, but I really like the satin trend a lot and obviously I'm a working girl so I need to dress up a little bit. It is the striped satin shirt. It was $16 and I purchased it in green cream, but it did come in other colors in a size small. So it's basically just a button down. I can wear this with jeans. I can wear it with a jean skirt when it starts getting warmer out. I can throw a cardigan over it. I'm already planning for spring outfits. <laughs> I'm ridiculous. But this top is awesome. It's super comfortable. It just 
feels expensive and obviously that's something that you want when you are shopping. I did end up returning this item. It is the sleeveless scoop neck jumpsuit. It was $18 in black and small. I mean, if we're being honest, most of the time when we get dressed and we wanna be comfortable, we're wearing leggings and a tank top, a bodysuit, a long sleeve shirt, a t-shirt. So I like the idea of these bodysuits or jumpsuits that are literally just like leotards. And I thought it would be good to wear a chunky knit over it or one of those shirling teddy coats but the material on this was just too see-through. It didn't do anything for my body where I was expecting it to be like, damn, and it wasn't. This next item I returned as well. It is the ribbed knit mock neck sweater. It was $18 in black and I purchased it in a size small. Honestly, if it wasn't so see-through, I would have kept it. I loved the sleeves, how they kind of ballooned out. I loved where it hit on my torso. It was just kind of see-through. And I'm not trying to walk around in a black bodysuit because it was cropped. I knew if I even wore something under it and I lifted up my arms a little bit, you would see the bodysuit or tank top, whatever, cami. And I don't know, I just feel like I don't want to look like I tried that hard. I want to throw something on and just be like, okay, I'm done, bye. I was really excited about these pair of pants because I wear my Topshop leather leggings all the time. And these are the faux leather pants. They were $38 in black and they're a size small. So they kind of have that like greaser, rocker fit in the front. They're not super tight at all. It's definitely a relaxed fit. I think it'll look so cute styled up or even dressed down a little bit. The next item is a ribbed mock neck bodysuit and it was $13 and I got it in a size small and in black. It's perfect. It's not see-through at all. Normally because I have a larger chest, the material pulls and you're able to just see that it's thinner. So I've been in the market for a new bodysuit and I really liked this one. It was comfy, gave me no problem. So hats off to the bodysuits at Forever 21 because they're reliable. Okay guys, three more items. I told you this was a huge haul. Okay, so this next item is basically another black bodysuit, just a different neckline. So I'm really not gonna get into that many details. I did keep it. It is the long sleeve bodysuit. It was $10. It's a small. It works. Like, <laughs> it's awesome. I love it. I also purchased a blazer. I'm just looking for some and this one felt more like a homeless man's coat or just a coat from the 60s. It wasn't cute at all. Not even if you're trying to dress down or dress up. It was the dash striped blazer. It was $30 in black and white in a size small. It was honestly... It felt like a large on me, so it's definitely a bigger fit. I returned it, just wasn't worth it at all. I knew I was never gonna wear it. This last item is the tassel trim turtleneck poncho. It was $38 in black, and I purchased it in a size medium, which was a huge mistake. I wanted it to be big, but it's already big. So I definitely should have purchased a small. I honestly think I could have passed for an extra small. I returned it. It was too much. It just ate me up and I didn't even have the dark hair yet. It had the big cowl neck. It was just like a blanket on you. It did have really nice cable knit detailing. It had tassels, it had buttons. So it's definitely worth the money. But for me with my dark hair and I don't know, it just ate me up, so I had to return it. Okay, everyone, that's going to be it for my Fall and Winter Forever 21 haul. If you do purchase any of these pieces, please tag me on Instagram. I need some outfit inspo myself. But besides that, thank you so much for watching, and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye, everyone.